Hi, it's Matt with Trout Soup. Today we're going down to the Beaver Creek, just below Skagway Reservoir, approximately an hour and a half south and west of Colorado Springs. We're dropping in right below the dam at Skagway Reservoir, uh, right down into the creek. We've seen some fish rising from way up above in these slow moving pools. So we're gonna go down and fish a blue wing olive. And then we're also gonna tie on a PMD on an, our second rod. We didn't have any luck with just the dry flies, so we tied on a dropper. We did a dry dropper uh, combination and immediately the wife caught a little brown trout on the dropper. So the first couple of miles downstream of the reservoir is very heavily fished. It's difficult fishing because these fish are very heavily pressured. They're fished over a lot. Uh, so we didn't spend a whole lot of time up in this upper section. We did catch a few brown trout, small ones. Uh, there's a lot of them in there. You can see them very easily because the water is pretty shallow. They were all feeding, mostly on emergers and nymphs, so that's why the dropper worked very well. Sometimes the fish are very close to shore and you have to be very careful in your approach. So that means casting over the land and out into the water be careful of rocks so you don't snag your fly line on there. Now in this section you're going to see me doing a small reach cast and then I pull my rod tip up so I keep my fly line off the water so as not to induce any drag onto my fly and make a nice dead drift on the current. I hooked into a few small brown trout in that previous section. We decided to head downstream. Most of this middle section here, this is about three quarters of a mile downstream, is still very heavily fished. So we didn't have any action here. Uh, the water's beautiful, a lot of good pockets. So we just decided to briefly fish some of these pools. Then we decided to head downstream. It's very pretty water, beautiful day out, uh, good time for a picnic as well. We just kind of relaxed and then we fished our way back up. Probably ended up catching about maybe six or seven fish on the day. Uh, but there's some nice footage here of the water and the wife caught a couple of brown trout and I probably pulled in maybe six total for the day, but it was difficult fishing. I noticed there were a lot of caddis flies buzzing around the screen. So I decided to tie on a caddis emerger and pretty well immediately hooked into a small brown trout in this section. All the fish that we caught in this section of the stream, which is about a mile and a half down, were all on the droppers. We tried these across the bank and all the different bank sections, the side sections with dry flies and had a lot of takes from smaller fish on the emergers underneath. One tip, find the best angle for fishing these dry droppers. A lot of times fishing directly upstream, like I am here, uh, see how I'm stripping out that line really fast? You're gonna miss a lot of takes that way. And I did, I missed several of them in this section of stream before I actually brought one to net. We would recommend if you're going down to Beaver Creek to go hike down the canyon. There's a nice trail that follows the stream. Hike down three, four miles and then work your way back upstream. Further downstream from where we were fishing, there's a canyon that starts there with plunge pools. It's supposed to hold nice rainbows, cut bows, cutthroats, and even some brook trout. All in all, it was a good day, but we just caught brown trout here. We hope that you liked our video. Thanks for watching.